Good afternoon, Wizards. Park West Wizards, this is Mr. Mungia. This is the beginning of quarter three. I wanted to go over grades and credits with you. Um, I especially ask, I want to encourage veteran students who have taken classes with me before to pay close attention to what I'm going to say because there's some significant differences now uh, this time around. Okay, so the first diff the, the main difference now is the grades are going to be strictly on a point-based system. Uh, veterans, since you guys will remember that, I had three categories to my grades. Uh, it was, uh, assignments, quizzes, and tests. That's no longer the case. Everything's going to be strictly point-based. So different categories will be different points. So respect and productivity each week. You'll count your stamps. If there's five days in a week, two stamps each, that's 10 points because there's 10 stamps. So respect and productivity are going to count towards your grade. In other words, stamps are not just going to be part of your credits, as classically they were in a typical Mungia class. They'll now count towards your grade. Okay, Every week, your stamps will be the amount of points you've earned for the respect and productivity maximum of 10 points because there's a maximum of five days in a week, okay? Assignments will be five to 10 points each, depending on the severity and the difficulty of the assignment that I'm given, okay? Mostly, there'll be five points, uh, but every now and then there'll be a very involved assignment that'll be 10 points, okay? Uh, what's the next category? The next category is gonna be um, quizzes and tests. Tests about maybe one or two tests this quarter, but every Friday will be a quiz, and those are going to be worth 10 points. So quizzes and tests are usually a little higher than assignments. Most assignments would be five points, unless, like I said, they're very special ones. So that's your grade. It should be strictly uh, points-based, and from those points will be the, well, before I even get to the, well, yeah, well, if you want to take a quiz or, or test over, my policy is, only if you're failing can you retake a test or quiz. So you have to have a failing grade in my class to take a quiz over, okay? And you have to have finished all the assignments related to that test or quiz if you want to retake it. In other words, I don't want you retaking it if you haven't even done the practice to perform well in a quiz or test. You have to perform all, you have to have turn in all the assignments leading up to that test or quiz if you want to retake it. All right. And... Based on all these points, I have the classic grading scale that I grew up with. It's a very classic traditional grading scale, 90 to 100% is an A and so on. So here's your percentages of how your grade is broken down. Now that's, so that's great. It's just strictly based on points, okay? And whatever points you have out of the total, that percentage is going to be your grade. Okay, so now. What I want to get into now is your credits. Here's a uh, picture of your new stamp sheet. Okay, it's a new type of stamp sheet that I want you to pay attention to. It has an R and a P. R is for respect. And at the lower left in the front, it tells you the four components for respect in my class. Four components. Uh, the first component is being on time. Second component is respecting others. No put downs, no cussing. Um, no clowning harshly. Um, following class rules. So everything I ask you to do, you do it. That's, that's another, the third component to respect. Uh, one of my main rules is no cussing at all. Um, no talking while I'm talking. That's another class rule. When I have the floor, I want utter, complete silence. Um, and being productive. So respect involves those four components. Now the second, so that would be the first stamp. So um, every day you walk into class, um, you'll, so the first stamp will be productive or the respect. And then the second stamp would be for productive. So if you're earning, notice I'm stamping this. Five days will, so that's a jacked up stamp there. But five days will be 10 stamps total, obviously. Okay? And your 10 stamps will count towards your grade, the respect and productivity 
points for each week. Okay. Uh, sorry about the pause in this video. I'm not sure what's going on here, but anyway, let's just proceed. Um, so productivity, the second step of the day, is being productive. You have to complete whatever's whatever the, the, the daily task is at a hand that's measurable. Sometimes I won't be even having you turning in an assignment. It'll be an activity for perhaps with a, with a group or a partner. If you're participating and putting your full effort into that, you'll get the second stamp. That's your productive participation stamp. Okay? So two stamps per day are your period stamps. We're going to call them period stamps. Each period, you get two stamps. One for being productive, one for being respectful. Total of 10, that'll be 10 points towards your grade each week. Now, if you turn the page over, right here at the back, um, here's the back side. It gives you how many period stamps there are per credit. Um, 80, 80 period stamps equals five credits. Um, you, you, you got your scale here. So 16 stamps is equal to one credit. 24 is 1.5. 32 is two credits and so on. So at any, at any point in the life of the classroom, all you got to do is count your stamps and divide by 16 to figure out how many credits you have in my class. For instance, let me give you a simple example. Let's say you have okay so in my example let's say you have uh, 42 stamps okay so you have 42 stamps what you'll do is you'll take 42 and you divide that by 16 Forgive me, I'm trying to draw with a mouse here, the mouse pad, and it's all jacked up. So I'll take 42, divide that by 16, and let me type that in my calculator to see what I get. So let's just pretend you have 42 stamps that maybe a month from now or whatever. 42 divided by 16, on my calculator, I get 2.625. So I get 2.625. Okay. That means I have 2.625 credits. For now, let's just go ahead and round to the nearest tenth uh, place of the decimals. So you have 2.6 credits. Okay, a little bit more than half the credits that you need, which is five credits. So all this to say, whatever amount of stamps you have, divide that by 16, because notice every 16 stamps is one credit. Until you get to 80, that's five credits, okay? And I'll let you read this on your own um, about the respect and pro, uh, productivity aspect of your stamp sheet, okay? Now, let's go on to the next slide here. Now, um, I mentioned this last quarter, quarters prior. In my class, then, if, you, if you've been following along here from what I've been saying the last six minutes, um, there's a balance now. There's a balance of two things. Well, there's always have been a balance. You need credits on the one hand, which is your stamps, your period stamps every day, getting 80 of them. But it doesn't matter how many credits you have. If you don't have a passing grade of a D minus or higher, then you won't get the credits. You got to be getting credits and grades, okay? And remember, your grade depends on the points that you accumulate. And the points are, remember, respect and productivity. Every week you'll get 10 points. Assignments are 5 to 10 points, depending on the difficulty of them. And quizzes and tests are 10 points. So it's a points based system of grading, okay? And whatever points you have out of the total, right? That'll be your grade. Here's your 90 to 100 and so on. Okay. That's that. Um, okay. Now, last thing. How would you lose period stamps? Let's talk about losing period stamps. Um, if you're tardy, um, less than a half hour that you lost a stamp. Uh, if you're tardy more than a half hour, you're going to lose both of your stamps. So make sure, if you're going to be late, make sure it's la, at least less than a half hour late. More than a half hour, you're, it's 
you, you missed too much of the class. Um, smartphone abuse, if I have to ask you over and over again to put your smartphone away, um, you'll lose a stamp. And I'll show you what smartphone abuse is. Uh, Non-productivity, obviously, is a stamp. Talking when I'm talking, this is the biggest, my biggest pet peeve that I can't stand. I'll go the distance on you with this one. Please do not talk when I'm talking. That is the number one battle that I'll fight you to the end. In other words, showing respect to me as your teacher, your authority figure, that's actually more important than the math I teach. And veteran students, you know I've been saying that since you've been at, in my classes. This is more important than math. To be able to show basic respect to the person in authority or the person who has a floor. Um, not coming to class prepared. If you if you do if you show up with a, um, no writing utensil and notes, then you're liable to lose a stamp. I'll have I have pencils and pens for days. I'll give them to you, but you're liable to lose a stamp. Okay. Um, phone use. You can listen to music as long as I don't have a floor or as long as we're not doing an activity together. So during, during class time, when I give you time to work on your assignments by yourself, that's when you can have earphones off or on, rather. This guy would lose both, I'd lose at least one stamp. If I had the floor or we're doing the class activity together, we should, and he, maybe, maybe we're taking notes or something, he would lose a stamp for having both of these earphones on. Um, this student would also lose his stamp because he has one earphone on while I have a floor. Now, both these guys would be would not lose their stamp if they have their earphones on while they're doing their assignments. And so long as their music is not, I can't hear their music from where I'm sitting or other people can't hear their music. It's got to be loud enough where they only they hear it. Okay? But if I have the floor or we're doing group activity of some sort, you should not have any earphones on. This would be okay. I don't care. Okay, he would still get his stamps for making me laugh, uh, putting those puppies in his nose. And here's my biggest pet peeve, like I said. These students are talking, they might be even whispering, but the teacher has a floor and is trying to explain something and they're talking. This is my biggest pet peeve. Do not do this, please. It gets on my nerves more than anything. Okay, you'll definitely lose your stamp if I keep warning you and asking you to stop talking when I have the floor. Okay. Also, when I have the floor, don't cut me off if you want to say something. I want you to talk in class. Let's just take turns like adults. Uh, if you want to say something, you want to ask a question, go right ahead. Just let me talk. Don't cut me off. I won't cut you off. You don't cut me off. Uh, I guess that's it. So you're going to go ahead and answer the questions now related to this video, demonstrating that you've understood the expectations of this class, what I'm expecting for grades and credits and for a passing grade. Uh, love you guys and talk to you soon.